start with teaching people how to FF logs effect. You know what? I'll do that right now. All right. Let's let's chill that chill out a little bit here. Where's uh where's some decent music? Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. All right. This is our learning music. Classes in session. All right. Step one. We're gonna be going. Take a little ride. Let me hide. Let me hide myself. All right, here. So, FF logs. This dastardly site that instills fear in those that don't know how to use it. You know, the majority of people believe that. The majority of people think that FF logs is this big scary place. Or that ACT, which is this thing that I have on the right there, is something that is just a measurement tool to shame other people, right? But the primary use of this tool is to gauge not only your skill, but to use the other up replays that people have used to your own benefit. So what do I mean? Okay, so let's say you want to improve on a fight, right? A fight that's not very straightforward, first off. So let's say you know your standard rotation. Let's say you've gone to the balance, you've at least gotten an elementary understanding of what you should be doing for your rotation, right? Your opener, your standard opener. The reason why it's called a standard opener is, in, is it assumes that there's not going to be any downtime or anything like that to interrupt you. Or... It's just a straightforward opener, right? But it's not tailored to a specific fight. Now, let's say you have an elementary understanding of your job and you want to start pushing those high numbers, right? Well, knowledge is power, right? And the best place that you can get knowledge, aside from just asking questions, right? But if you want to take it upon yourself to discover, figure out what is good for your job in any given class, right? And not rely on someone else to tell you to make a video or something like that. Well, I'm happy to do so, you know, and other content creators out there are happy to do so. There is a lot that you can glean, especially early on in the tier by using this beloved website. So very popular thing that I've noticed recently on the balance is how do I tailor my rotation for something like the Epic of Alexander, okay? But that's a little too far out there. So let's take something like E4 Savage, right? Straightforward, a lot of people that raid are going to come across it if they haven't already cleared it, but a lot of people don't know how to improve themselves. So what do you do? Okay, so what you wanna do is, first off, you need to register yourself, okay? And look at your own character. But you can see, okay, I have my logs. So we open them up, okay? We pick, I'll pick one of my, my best ones. Okay, let's take this one. It's, it's decent, but it's not amazing. Okay. So you click on your name, get all your casts down, and the easiest thing that you can do, especially to glean like an opener or a rotation, is to go to the cast bar. Now I can see every cast over here, the entire fight, right? Using this, is not by itself is not a whole lot All right what am i going to do with this I can, I can see exactly what broke down in the fight but like i want to improve right and let's say i don't know what to do well luckily ff logs is incredible and it has this thing here currently it's sorted by ultimates here at the top but if you scroll down it'll always have the current raid tier on the front page if you can't find it here you can find it by the, with the little menu here but you have the all stars down here or you can use the menu on the left so we go to the menu. Let's say, like I said, I, I, we want to do an E4. We want to improve, okay? We're gonna click on Titan here. It's gonna bring up all of the people. You can sort by boss, you can sort by speed, execution, damage. So by default, it gives you the speed ranking, which is why I like to go off of the DPS All-Stars chart because that one sorts by individual player. But you can do it right here if you just go to damage. So we'll drop down menu, come here to damage, and click on damage. Okay, so now it's sorted by player, individual player. Now we want to go for our job. Go to summoner. All right, here's all the summoners. 
and here's the respective you know raid dps whatever so typically what you want to do obviously people that are anonymous you can't can't glean a whole lot of information from them but typically you want to grab two or three so let's just grab this guy who has the rank three parts in the world for Titan, right and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to so here's his log and here's my log basically you just want to go through and check his cast and compare just overall right okay so the first thing we're going to notice is my kill time is 11 37. his kill time is 10 36. so he killed it a whole minute faster than me so what we want to do is maybe find something that has a similar kill time so i'm at 11 37. let's go okay right here well he's number two i can't do him so 11 all right here rank six 11 36. so this is almost the exact same kill time we're gonna use this log instead because this is directly comparable so we go over here and you can do this with any job by the way not just summoner i'm just doing it for summoner because i play some so if it's in japanese you have to hit the translate button because we unless you can read japanese okay you go over here you're gonna click on his name i'm gonna go to casts so the first thing you want to do is evaluate how close you are to each other man got 99 ruined threes over the course of the fight okay i got 94. So I missed out on five, potential, like somewhere, if I missed out on five. Ruin four is 45, 47. He got two more. 44 festers, 44 festers. All right, we're good, right? And you can do this all the way down the line, right? First off, you want to compare your casts. And if you notice, especially on your big cooldown, that there's a discrepancy, that's where you want to zone in and figure out, okay, how did I lose this cast? Right? So for summoner, it's our trances, right? I got six I got six trances, uh, six of each. Six summon Bahamut. What did this guy do? He got also six. Twelve and Kindles of each. Summon Bahamut six. Okay, so we're we're doing okay there. 25 of each Eggy Assault. Oh, I lost out on one of each. Right? So after you've evaluated on what you're missing out on, right? Now, then you want to figure out, okay, so for this fight, are we even doing the rotation or the opener properly? So let's zone in on the first 30 seconds. We're going to click, click and drag over like this to zoom in, okay? We do the same for this guy. So the big thing I want to know, and this is what you can do for any job, is you can figure out their exact rotation by just turning on every single ability. Now, mind you, we're only looking at the first 40 seconds. Clicked on. All right, 40 seconds. You can turn on and see what happened differently. And you'll probably figure out that the rotation is different. So what did he do? Three cast ruin three. Okay, cool. Try disaster. Egg assault two, energy drain, and kindle. Interesting. Egg assault one, fester ether pack. Egg assault two, potion. Egg assault one, fester dreadworm trance. At ten seconds, right? And you can check. Okay, you can check your your rotation against the their rotation. So that's one way that you can use FF logs to improve your right it's a tool that you can use to figure out little nuances on how to improve your game and give you a sense of direction right but as with any sort of improvement right step one before you use any of these resources is mindset rule number one mindset you need to have the mentality of I am willing to improve. I'm willing to take information that I may not believe to be true right now and be open to whatever, right? I, you know, some people would look at this initial rotation and say it is strictly worse or something like that, right? A lot of people would be like, oh, this isn't the cut and paste rotation from the balance or you're losing potency here. Or you're losing potency there, right? Well, is it just pure luck that this person got so highly ranked? Maybe, maybe it is luck, but more often than not, people 
have a tendency to perform pretty consistently. So, you have to be open. Be open to ideas that are different than yours. Once you have the mindset of, okay, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to improve, okay? These people got there somehow, right? They, they get to the top and usually it's not by a fluke. Usually they're very solid players. They have good fundamentals, they understand the game. So, just look at their luck. Look what they're doing. What's so, what's so different, right? from what I'm doing. And it looks to me, you know, he does his, his double try disaster reset, and that's good. You know, Ruin 3, Death Flare, Ruin 4, Summon Bahamut, and Kindle went after each other. Three hard cast Ruin 3s, Ruin 4, and Kindle. Ruin 3, Ruin 3. These are long cast Ruin 3s, by the way. Now, there are other logs, right? There's, there's not just this log. You'll actually find that a lot of E4 logs we go back here have summoners that do different rotation uh, let's see here look hold on I'm getting lost anyway after you have the the mindset thing then it's all about getting in there and doing the homework. So for differences in logs in comparison, there are classes with different best of spot tiers. There's Samurai that does the crit variant. Okay, so here's the thing. They're all best in slot, right? There is never strictly like a, uh, a best in slot that is just the best. There is no variation whatsoever. You should just follow the law, okay? Now, everyone on the balance, they usually do a good job of listing two th or three, typically three best in slot lists. These are all viable and they're all very good. Honestly, when it comes to gameplay and play style, that's going to determine your best in slot. As long as you pick one of the three, right? These are all calculated out in a spreadsheet, right? Assuming perfect play, not just from yourself, but from your teammate. Okay, so you, you have to take it with a grain of salt, right? Yes, it is the mathematical best, but it also is assuming perfect play and average RNG, right? You can have a run, and honestly, a lot of players here on FF Logs, especially the top ones, they farm a run over and over and over until they get one that gives them slightly better RNG for their stats, you know? And that has a, a very small impact, but when you're talking the top 10 logs in the world, a small impact is all you really need. So, for instance, for Samurai, right? You have three different best in slot lists from the balance. They're all good. There is a quote unquote mathematical best, right? But at the end of the day, it's about, oh, there's four. Okay, well, regardless of what the number is, they're all equally good, okay? They, there might be one, their DPS difference, I believe, is like less than 50. And also, you know, remember, this is assuming average outcome, right? But the thing is, average outcome, especially when they're calculated out in a spreadsheet, is done through hundreds of thousands of iteration, okay? How many people do you know have 100,000 logs of one fight uploaded onto this website? Nobody, because nobody that's not how the game works, right? Your logs and your performance is calculated out from a finite number of pulls, right? Even the most hardcore players only really do a fight a hundred times, right? So in the grand scheme of things, you are not getting the number of repetitions that these spreadsheets that calculate out your best in slot lists are running their numbers against, right? Which is why your outcome is going to be drastically different. Especially factoring in your personal skill and the skill of your teammates. It's it's all a collective thing. So take them take them with a grain of salt. You should pick one of them, right? But don't think that one is just strictly better than the other under all circumstances. Certain fights will favor certain spell speed tiers. Certain fights, you know, depending on when the boss goes untargetable, uh, 
certain GCD tiers will allow you to get one extra GCD off that you wouldn't get otherwise if you have a like a slower, right? I think the mathematical best in the case of Samurai is the slowest one. Whatever one gives you your slowest GCD uh, has the numerical best one, right? It's, it's like the highest one, but I think in Leviathan there's an example where if you use that best in slot, you miss out on one GCD when Leviathan goes on targetable. Something like that, right? We're talking very, very, very minute increase, okay? But, you know, if you're really trying to push the top, that's what you need to be willing to be flexible with. But when it comes to just doing content, as long as your item level is maxed out and your gearing and stat priority is correct, you will, it, the variation is less than upper. Like I personally, okay, for summoner, a lot of people take the 2.48 this as as the gospel, right? It's like if you're not playing with 2.48 on your GCD, then you are not playing often. That's not true. It's not necessarily true because you need to factor in uh, external factors from the game, like your ping, latency, other things like that. The 2.48 is good, assuming that you can consistently every single time get eight Scarlet Flames from your Phoenix and eight Warm Waves from your Bahamut. Right, but sometimes in a certain fight or just because of latency, that GCD speed is too slow. You'll get seven out of eight. You won't get all eight. And so in that case, the 2.48 is actually worse than a 2.47 or a 2.45 because the 2.45 would allow you to get the eight every single time, right? It also conveniently happens to be the max crit build, which I personally love because we love, you know, rolling them dice. I believe the difference between the 2.48 and the 2.45 build is a solid, I think, 5% crit chance difference uh, over the course of a fight. At least over the course of Alex Ultimate. So, there's a lot that goes into gearing like that. But when it comes to improvement, you just want to keep all of this in mind and charge ahead, using this as the tool it was intended to be used for. Yeah. As long as you use a best in slot, they're all good. They're all very, they're all viable, right? They're all viable, and you can you can get a top log with good play. It might you might you know you might need especially later on in a raid tier. Uh, you might need to you know, roll roll a little bit, right? You might need to do the fight a few times because later on in a raid tier, people have farmed the fight over and over and over and over for those really solid runs. But I guarantee you with solid play and good understanding of the fight, and as long as you have a best of the fight, you can get a 99. 100% get a 99. 